Whoa, what? Miss Lestrade is gone? What happened to Gina? She's supposed to be sleeping, but her bed is empty. Maybe she went home, but does she actually have a home? She kind of indicated she lives on the streets. Yeah, and she was really, really looking forward to breakfast, so why would she leave? And she's been gone for over an hour. Look out the window, sir. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's a light on in the pawnbroker's shop? Simple. That store really was in his storeroom. There's no way that Suzato could know about it. Iris, if you ask me, Sherlock Holmes probably sold the manuscript without telling you he didn't put it in the pawn brokery. So is it possible she broke into the pawn brokery just to prove that Sherlock Holmes is a liar? Oh, come on, Ryan Suke, you've got to tell Sherlock the truth. We've got to investigate at once. One fourteen a.m. Wow, it's really late. The door to the pawn shop is open. The lamp is burning. It could be Gina. It could be somebody else. It's not a moment to lose. Something's afoot. No one here. Ah! Two people. Oh no. Sherlock Holmes just get shot? After them, go! It looked like two people. I have no idea who it was. Hello, hello. What are we here? Ah, hello, Mr. Bobby. Okay, somebody raise the alarm, huh? Officer, come with me! It's my friend, Sherlock Holmes, he was shot! Shot?! With the policeman close behind, I ran to Windebanks. Oh no, is that a drop of blood? No, okay, that's a little fire thing. Mr. Jones! Mr. Narado! How bad is it? Uh, never mind me, but there's much at stake. Behind that door. Uh. In the storeroom. Uh. Hurry! Okay, what's in the storeroom? It's locked. Oh, but there's a viewing area. Okay. Oh, gosh! <gasps> oh, Mr. Windebank's just been killed. It... Uh, it's Gina! And Gina is there at the scene of the crime, unconscious. Ooh. Oh. She's gonna be accused of murder, isn't she? Oh, man. Okay, well, that's a dramatic cliffhanger. Sherlock Holmes shot? Someone else killed? Gina, perhaps framed for the murder? I'll be alright, Mr. Naruhoto. After them, go! This is what just happened. <laughs> um, okay, I did chase after two bad guys. Who those two bad guys were. We didn't get a close look at him, at, at, at either of those bad guys. From that moment, the pawnbrokery became a crime scene. 
Everything that followed happened in a whirlwind of activity. The police, the preliminary investigation, the questioning. Lots and lots of questioning. Well, I mean, even if Sherlock Holmes is hurt, we still got Irish. She's still a genius, right? She can help solve the mystery. She knows everything about Sherlock Holmes' uh, investigative techniques. And there she is. Telegram came. All it said was wait at home. Oh, okay, so that was a telegram for you, Iris. Sorry, or, sorry we should have given more details. And Susano can't be here because she has her meeting with uh, the, the Minister of Justice as well. Something very, very terrible has happened, Iris. I... Okay, let's, let's get a recap of what happened. Mr. Windebank is dead. Shot. Inside his own storeroom. You had a feeling murder was involved. Oh, and, and she knew something happened there. Because that's where all the police were hanging out. Okay, so we entered Windebank's about 115. There were two thugs. They ran into the street. I tried chasing after them, but they got away. And I didn't get a good look at them. So presumably one of them shot Mr. Winnebank. The police don't believe me, though. Um, they believe that Gina is the killer. Because she was inside a locked room with the victim. Yeah, but she was unconscious at the time. What's their explanation for that? She was clearly knocked out. Yeah, let, let's ask about this arrest. I want to find out more. No, 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 no. I, I don't think Sherlock Holmes is dead. He's not dead yet. Okay, so Windy Bank found on the floor of the storeroom. Which is very much locked. However, there's a looking window that you could easily pull open and shoot someone through. That is definitely possible. Gina was found unconscious on the floor next to him, though. Well, it was more like eight feet away, right? Pretty far away. Yeah, somebody clearly shot through that, that, that little hole in the door. And you know what? That hole in the door actually kind of matches that cat flap invention that Iris made, right? She made an invention which creates a, a little cat flap throughout any door. You know, what if the culprit somehow stole that invention and used it to make that flap? Or maybe the flap is always there. I don't know. Um, how, how does that work with pawnbrokers? Do, do pawnbrokers usually have a viewing window for the storeroom? I guess maybe just to confirm some items are there and haven't been stolen. Okay, Iris, I know you were just talking about uh, Sherlock Holmes being shot, but let's go back to this conversation where I first tell you he's been shot. <laughs> oh, I did the conversations out of order. Oh, silly me. Yeah, so the thug shot Sherlock Holmes. That's probably... I mean, they wanted to escape. So they, they uh, did that to... Uh, <laughs> I love the name of that hospital. St. Sinners. That's great. Was the founder of the hospital a saint or a sinner? Hmm. Yeah, she is an adopted daughter. Oh, nobody's allowed to see him. Okay, that makes sense. It's an operation. Oh man, Sherlock Holmes probably would be a great doctor. I, I, I suppose he could probably make a bunch of advancements in medical technology. 
it is the 1800s. There are advancements to be made in medical technology. Actually, even today, there are advancements to be made in medical technology. There are several diseases that we do not have a cure for. It would be great if we could, you know, do that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ryunosuke kind of froze up. He's kind of sh too shocked. He had to be told what to do. That's sort of why the culprits got away. He, he, he hesitated too long. Because his friend was shot. I, I really can't blame Ryunosuke for, for hesitating. And if you chased after them, you might have gotten shot as well, Ryunosuke. Iris couldn't bear to have every single male figure in her life just be killed on the same day. Uh, is Suzato at the police station? Really, I thought she was going to visit the Minister of Justice today. So why are they questioning her more? Okay. Um, maybe it's not that they're questioning her more, it's just that they're questioning her second. Man, yeah, they decided to question Ryunosuke first. And maybe we did make a mistake. Maybe we should have just sent a telegram saying come to the police station at once. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, Iris... Yeah, Iris is gonna go with you. Come on, Ryunosuke. No way is she just gonna sit around waiting. She's gonna insist on coming with you to investigate. I don't know, who takes a 10-year-old to the scene of a murder? That, that's a really weird decision! <coughs> Phoenix Wright does that, like, all the time, actually. <laughs> you know, it takes Pearl Faye to, to murder scenes. Okay, so apparently taking little, little girls to murder scenes runs in the family here, runs in the Phoenix Wright family. Yes, and we should investigate the crime scene. Definitely. So we should go to the hospital first. That's what Ryunosuke is saying there. And I guess I should agree. Oh, we also have a prison. Um, yeah, let's go to the hospital first. I bet Gina's in prison because she's the prime suspect, right? Right? Ooh, I didn't see if there was, like, the police station. Was that added to the list of places we could go to meet Suzato? Maybe, maybe not. Whoa. Not here. This is her room, but there's a note. It's scribbly, scribbly notes. Was he being a baby? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it was a serious wound. And yeah, he did get surgery. Right... There we go. Why are we here? Hello, officer. Hi. This is the daughter of Mr. Holmes. Adoptive daughter. Of course, now that she has no living family members, I guess she is uh, Sherlock Holmes' real daughter. Right? You know, like, he, he, he's gone from being her temporary parent to official parent. Uh, I don't know what the legal paperwork is like, though. I, I haven't taken a look at it. The game kind of left it open-ended as to whether or not he was an adopted parent or just a temporary parent. Okay, so he is currently in surgery. I am babbling about nothing. So it's going to take several hours. A very long surgery. That's sad. Poor Sherlock Holmes. 
Yeah, and, and she said we need to go here right away, but it looks like we uh, shouldn't. Renosuke says we can't find anything here. That's clearly a piece of paper that we should look at. What's this? Thought of the day. On seeing any vermin, calmly and discreetly inform the matron. Yeah, yeah, getting rid of rats and mice in hospitals. Yeah. Oh dear. That's definitely an advancement in medical technology. Not having vermin in inside the hospital. That's that's a very good idea. So can we read this? Let's look at these crutches. They're for people with leg injuries. No, they're not weapons. Why would we have weapons in a hospital? Well, I mean, hospitals generally have scalpels, and scalpels can be used as weapons. And it looks like we've seen everything there is to see here in, in this uh, hospital room. Let's go back, let's check. So we've got the pawn brokery, um, Baker Street. Yeah, we just have the prison. We don't have uh, a new location. I, I mean, we don't have the, the, the police station. But Iris is saying there's something new in Baker Street. Let's check it out. It doesn't look like there's anything new here, but I'll check it out anyway. And it's been two months since we've been here. Still can't believe it. I never expected things would turn out like this. Hey, when he comes back home, we can have a big party. I'm sure it won't be long. Long. Mr. Holmes is a pretty tough guy. So is this what's different? We just have the police officer? Just guarding the crime scene? It's not your fault, Bruno. Please don't apologize. Criminals who are to blame. So let's investigate and figure out who they are, how to catch them. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, press the wrong button. Press the button for move. Move, here we go. So, yeah, her conversation still... She's still saying this place feels different to normal. Making it seem like there's something to investigate there. But yeah, it looks like... Uh, we need to go to the prison, and it looks like we need to go to the pawn burglary. Oh, is, there, is there something else I need to investigate here? Is there something new or different? I don't think so. Maybe I'm just misreading what she said. Um, it, it could be I'm just misreading. <laughs> misreading her little conversation piece that it feels different. Yeah. You could be on just misreading that. That's not supposed to be a clue that there's something new to investigate. It's just her comment on that street. Lots of officers here. I bet Inspector Gregson's gonna be here. You can probably talk to him. Yeah, so this is where everything happened last night. The thugs were ransacking the place. Looking for valuables, but why? Wouldn't they, like, look for valuables inside the storeroom in the back? Wouldn't that be the most valuable, uh... Yeah, that's where all the valuables are stored. <laughs> it looks like the police are creating uh, havoc here, just messing everything up, looking for clues. Hi, Inspector. I uh, should thank you for your vigilance. We got to the crime scene pretty quickly, thanks to you. Too bad you let the rogues get away, mind. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. I thought you said you had extra people uh, here, huh? Huh? How come there weren't extra police on duty at 1 a.m. in the morning? 
Congratulations! Nobody told me you were coming. You need to take full responsibility for what happened to Sherlock Holmes since he has great medical care. Well, sure, Lady Ship, we're taking care of him as we speak. And hey, 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 don't say it's right in the suitcase fault. Chasing criminals is the police's job. Absolutely. As you say, man. Wow, sounds like uh, Iris has uh, Gregson wrapped around her little finger. Wow. Granted, she does, like, provide a lot of his salary, but still, this is so weird. Oh, man. Is she actually a lady or something? I, I mean, is he making it up or, or what? I... Hmm. Okay. I don't know. 